Hi everybody, this is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. We are a small family owned and operated psychic service. We book psychic readings by phone. All of our readers are clairvoyant. They are tested by us. We've been doing this for over 20 years and we love what we do. Call us if you would like a reading at 1-800-966-2294. We think that you'd really like to get a reading just because it's a lot of fun. It can be very informative for you and it can be just a really good experience. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today just about different types of psychic readers and what type of questions would be best with the different types of readers. Um, we actually have a very diverse clientele. People call us from all over the world. Um, and yes, we, we are actually international. Um, most of our business is done in the United States. However, we have a lot of Canadian, uh, a lot of people in Dubai, a lot of people just all around the world that love to call us, and we really do appreciate that. Um, we actually believe in, um, in really helping our diverse clientele. We think that is an important thing, um, and we love what we do. So call us at 1-800-966-2294. Um, with such a diverse, uh, you know, clientele, we actually, uh, we do want to find a reader who can help you in your specific area. Um, we look for caring, accurate, and friendly psychic readers. We test all the readers before they can join us, which means that we actually physically do the readings with them before they're on our line. Um, when we test, we always look for accuracy, reliability, and the ability to provide a valid information that can really help just about anybody. Because everybody has different things that they're kind of looking for with psychic readings. Um, and some, some people need to hear different things. And they also need the information to be accurate. So that's very, very important that we have a lot of different type of, type of readers. Um, all of our readers on our line, we want them to be clairvoyant first. Um, clairvoyant psychic readers pick up visually on bits and pieces from your past, present, and future. Um, and then they describe those, you know, those visuals that they get. When, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a snippet of a movie or maybe just some pictures and then they'll kind of try to describe that. Um, because they're so visual, it definitely is a really great way to get a psychic reading by phone. Um, because you definitely want to have a visual reader who can kind of almost place themselves in the situation that you're going through and actually see the different things that you're seeing. Um, this is very different than a reading with a psychic medium, which we also work with a lot of psychic mediums. Psychic mediums um, are readers who get energy that is in the moment. It's in the here and now. Um, they can pick up it, they can pick it up as symbols and or maybe some sentences. Um, they are picking up on energies that are around you. It could be uh, your, you know, just spirit guides that are around you, or it could be maybe a loved one who has crossed. Um, the the um, psychic mediums are really good with, with picking up on the here and now, and that's very, very valuable um, for many type of people who are maybe grieving during the holidays or even just, you know, need a little bit of extra guidance in their, their, their life. Um, the psychic mediums may pick up on energies or spirits or people who have crossed. And then we also deal with some readers who can use some tarot cards. Um, the tarot card readers that we look for are generally not super duper heavy on, on tarot cards, although we do have a couple that are heavier than others on tarot cards. We do want the readers to be clairvoyant first, and we want them to actually have done a lot of tarot card readings in the past for the simple idea. They have to be very, very familiar with the tarot cards. Um, and a lot of times when, when tarot card readers are working on readings is they actually develop their own meanings I mean, they, you know, they go along with the tarot cards, but they also develop their own meanings for different cards. So it is really important if you are looking for a tarot card reader that you need somebody that has a lot of years experience reading other people so they can be very, very familiar with what they're doing. Um, tarot cards are accurate. We do like tarot card readings. Uh, we find that they are a very, very good addition to phone readings to help just guide the conversation. They're very good with future prediction, where things are going. They can also do a little bit of past. Um, and they actually can give a little bit of guidance with timing and just different, a little bit more concrete than just somebody who is strictly clairvoyant sometimes. Um, so that's where we look for people who can do both. And then we also look for strictly clairvoyant readers for the people who want strictly clairvoyant. And then we also do some tarot, some clairvoyant with tarot cards, which are people who use a little bit heavier cards. Um, in order to be on our lines, they have, the readers have to be clairvoyant first, and then they must, then they can, they can do other tools such as psychic mediums or they can do mediumship, or they can do tarot cards. Um, we've had them do everything from pendulums to, um, to crystal balls. So it doesn't matter, you know, as we don't mind any other tools as long as they're clairvoyant first. Um, we actually don't ever, uh, you know, ask our clients to ask questions of readers when they're in the reading. You can actually go into a reading completely cold. We have no problem with that. Um, however, 
uh, we do always encourage a couple things from our clients. And one is to write down, you know, just before you get into the reading, well, we always want you to take notes in your reading, that's A. And then B is we want you to, uh, before you get into your reading, write down specific areas of focus that maybe you want to focus on um, or even questions that you would like to ask because that's kind of an important thing is just to organize your energy into that direction. You do not have to mention anything that you write down at all. That's not even, you don't have to do that at all. It's completely your comfort level. However, it will help your energy be up front on those things. Now, the reader may or may not pick up on that, or if they do, it they might be looking at a different direction, so you never know what they're gonna do. But um, it's, it really is always good to have a little bit of energy that you're going, you know, which direction you want it to go before you get into the reading. Um, you know, is in actually, you know, the clients, that's another thing is that we want our clients to do is, is to work on your energy a little bit before you get into the reading. The more open and communicative and just more open for energy that you are before you get into your reading, the better reading you're going to get. Um, you are an active participant in the readings. Um, it, this is all about energy and it's specifically all about energy between you and the psychic reader. Um, and so, you know, as if you, you know, if you really want a good reading, I always, you know, tell people to either, you know, go get a cup of tea, you know, relax a little bit before the reading because you can really, really affect the energy and what energies come through, be it with a psychic medium or with what the clairvoyant reading, you know, clairvoyant reader is picking up. Um, but the connection between the client and the reader is of utmost importance to getting a good reading. So we always want you to try to have open energy before you get into your reading. Um, different types of uh, psychic readers have different types of questions that you probably want to ask or even focus on. Um, all of our readers do relationships. All of our readers also do business issues. Um, some of them can focus on, you know, deceased loved ones. Some of them can focus on more future. Some of them can focus on past or present. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. We always look for a wide variety of readers because we know that there are just a wide variety of situations that we deal with on a daily basis. Um, so important, you know, good questions for like a clairvoyant reader or maybe a clairvoyant reader who can use some cards would be, what do you see in the next few weeks? Do you see um, any big events coming up? Is he or she thinking about me? Um, when will I meet my love? Or what should I look for when I'm looking for my love? Um, do you see any you know, trips in the new year? Um, do you see anything coming up for 2018? Um, and do you see you know any job changes or anything like that? You could ask those questions of a clairvoyant reader. Um, now, with a psychic medium reading, you're gonna ask really a little bit different questions. You can still ask any type of reader all of these questions by all means. It just kind of with the focus of how the readers pick up on energy, different readers will pick up on things better than other readers. So it just kind of depends on what you're doing and how the energy is. Um, some popular questions for a psychic medium, um, and mind you, always remember that psychic mediums read in the here and now. Um, some can do past, present, and future because they're clairvoyant also, which is what we do look for with our with our psychic mediums. Um, other psychic you know, it just kind of depends on the situation and what they're picking up. Because um, sometimes with psychic mediums is a certain energy can come through very, very strong. And that can, you know, kind of override a lot of the reading and the information that you'll actually get. So it's really, you know, psychic mediums are really a wonderful type of reading because they can definitely give you a lot of peace of mind and just, you know, a lot of spiritual, a lot of love and, and just really good energy. Um, but, you know, they, are, they do have a different perspective than somebody who is strictly clairvoyant or clairvoyant with cards. Um, a lot of times, you know, a lot of people like to see, you know, do I have any energies around me? Do I have any spirit guides around me? Um, what do the energies look like? Do they look, are they physical form? Or are they more just light? Um, sometimes uh, people ask to speak to a loved one or somebody who has crossed over. Um, you know, is that is, that's actually one of the number one reasons that people go to psychic medium is to get some peace of mind on somebody who has crossed over. Um, they want people to know if their loved one is okay. Um, if they're if they're near you know them they want to know if they can communicate with them or if they can hear them so a lot of times clients want to know if, if the, the loved one basically knows that they're still loved and yes um, we actually do we actually do believe that you know definitely your you know the spirits do are around you at all times um, however it really is very personal when a psychic medium can really pick up and help you on that um, some popular questions for readers with tarot cards is there are several, um, you can ask, actually ask tarot card readers just about anything. And a lot of times they deal with really well with timing of events, which is really exciting. Um, and then, uh, hi everybody, I see everybody joining us. I always enjoy having a lot of people here. That's always really nice. Thank you for watching us. Um, popular questions for a reader who uses some tarot cards. Um, mind you, in order to work here, the tarot, anybody who uses tarot cards has to be clairvoyant first. 
and can also work on some, you know, psychic mediumship, spirit guides, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of th a lot of times you want to ask future questions with tarot card readers, although tarot, some actually pretty much all tarot card readers read past, present, and future. They just, you know, it depends on what they're picking up on a certain area and what they're really going to focus on. Um, but a lot of times you can ask when, you know, what do you see in my future or um, when will somebody call? Um, do you have any idea of timing of events? Um, sometimes uh, it's what, what do you see coming up in my future? A lot of the same questions that you would actually ask a clairvoyant reader. Um, sometimes it, you can also ask more business questions, which is I just fill out an application for, you know, a job or just gave them my resume. Do you think that they'll call me or when will they call me? Um, also, you know, I like for tarot card readers, I actually also like forecasting readings. Like, for instance, for 2018, um, thinking is what do you see coming up for me this year or what do you see coming up for me in the next couple months? Um, what should I look out for? What, what months are going to be better than others? It just kind of depends on what you're looking for with that, too. But tarot card readers are generally a little bit more concrete on timing events. Um, and they also go a little bit more direction from the get-go. Um, you know, than a lot of the other readers because just because of how they read. Um, so if anybody has any questions, we love to help out with questions. So please call us at 1-800-966-2294. We also love to book psychic readings. So if you would like a reading, we are here. Um, again, it's 1-800-966-2294. You can definitely check us out further at www.thepsychicline.com. Or, um, or just call us, or you can even leave a question below. We'll try to help. Um, but generally speaking, actually, generally speaking, our readers do not have access to the page. It would actually compromise your readings, so we do not want to ever do that. So have a wonderful day, and I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Take care and, and get your Christmas shopping done. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.